What's up guys, Catch here from Metal Darts and today we'll be reviewing the Steve the Muffin Man Hind Darts from Loxley. So before we begin I would like to thank Loxley for sending me these darts as well as the Muffin Man shirt which you can see I'm wearing now. Um, I got these on Friday when I went to the Premier League and I was dropped these off by Zach so I'm very very much a big thank you goes to Loxley and also Zach for dropping off the darts as well. I don't do too many reviews so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to talk about the dart here and I'll actually just show you some close up pictures of the dart because filming the dart close up is quite difficult to do for me um, with the equipment I have. So um, I'll show you some close ups as I talk about the dart. So the dart as you would probably know if you've seen some Loxley reviews before come in this sort of clamshell looking packaging with the plastic case. Um, you've got Steve Hines face on it just here and the Loxley logo. And these darts are 23.5 grams, which is a uh, Steve Hines match weight. So that's the packet. And then the dart itself comes with a medium length uh, Loxley stem. Uh, it comes with the Muffin Man flights. And then you have the barrel itself and then a silver point. A lot of people won't like the silver point, but um, if you actually look, a lot of professionals will use silver points and just rough them up. So that is probably why these uh, darts come with the silver point as well. So um, yeah, that's how the dart set up as a whole, and what we're going to do is take you into sort of like the technical details of the grip as well, and uh, show you them too. So as we get into the barrel of the dart, you can see clearly it is quite obviously a ringed grip dart. Um, it has the black and blue sort of Steve Hine colours, which Loxley have gone for for Steve Hine. It starts off with three thicker grooves, sort of similar to a Rob Cross style cut, and then it's followed by three smaller grooves that are unpainted. And then again, followed by four wide sort of Rob Cross style grooves, and then followed by three smaller grooves, and then another three larger grooves painted black as well. Above that, you have a little smooth section with the Loxley logo and the Muffin logo on there as well for Muffin, uh, Muffin Man Steve Hine. And then at the back of the dart, um, there's some sort of like very small ring grip cuts. Uh, probably just for rear grippers to put their fingers. But yeah, that is the barrel. I think it's a really nice, simple, sleek looking barrel. And um, it really does work quite well. Feeling the barrel, I'd probably give it a grip rating of about a two and a half out of five. Um, the thicker grooves are slightly grippier, so I'd maybe give them a three. Um, it sort of depends where you grip the dart. But it is a really, really nice dart overall. Before we do get to the board, uh, I'm going to show you the dimensions. So these are obviously 90% tungsten and they are 50.2mm long by 6.7mm wide. So a little wider for a sort of straight barrel type of dart. But um, they do feel quite nice in the hand. They feel nice and sort of natural. Um, compared to my personal darts, which are 6.2mm wide, so you're gaining sort of half a centimetre um, of width. But they don't feel out of place. They don't feel like a bomber shaped barrel. They do feel uh, like a straight barrel dart, which they are. And they sort of feel very natural in the hand as well. So if you like a thicker sort of straight barrel dart, these may be the darts for you. Okay, so we're at the board now. Um, I've got these Muffin Man darts set up as they come in the packet. Um, I would usually use short stems, so these kind of look a bit ridiculous for me. But um, I'll throw them as they are, and then I might change over to a regular setup, which I use, um, and see what the difference is. But for now, I'm going to go with the setup that it comes with in the box. This is my first throw of the day and it's like uh, 8 in the morning, so I'm sorry for any bad darts. Immediately what I will say is they feel um, ever so slightly less grippy than my match darts, which are the Red Dragon Dragonfly Freeze. Um, they do have a similar sort of width of a ring barrel cut, or a ring grip cut. Um, the only difference is um, obviously the smaller rings in between, which give you a bit less grip. Um, if you were to grip specifically uh, on the wider grooves, you'd get more grip, uh, which is what I'm trying to do now. Sixty. And these are also really slow going through the air, obviously, because of that long uh, shaft length and the standard flight. Twenty-six. I have a couple more throws of these, and I'll switch to uh, my regular setup. Oh, one hundred and forty. <coughs> one more throw. 
100. So as you can see, I'm kind of getting used to them there. Um, I suppose because they are a straight barrel dart, you can just adapt to them really quickly. Uh, but I say they're not too much different to my normal match darts, except they're just slightly longer and slightly thicker. So what we're going to do now is switch to my match sort of setup with the flights and stems, and we'll see how they go. Okay, so we have my match setup, which are the Loxley Clear flights and the Loxley Short stems. Uh, let's see how they go. Straight away, as you can see, they go quicker to the board, um, and they're standing up a little more, as you'd expect, uh, with a shorter flights, because obviously it brings the centre of balance closer to the front end of the barrel. Forty-five. But as I said, these feel really familiar in hand. I don't. I think anyone would get on with these darts. Um, they're a really nice weight, 23.5, it's not too heavy, it's not too light. Oh, treble one. Single one. Single 20, 24. We'll have a couple more throws and we'll go into the summary. Oh, switch to 19s. Not throwing very well at all. Fifty-five. Okay guys, so that's it for the throwing section of this video. We're going to take you into a summary now and give you a little conclusion of what I think of these darts. Okay guys, so the Loxley Steve Hine Signature Darts. Uh, these retail on Darts Corner for $39.95, which is a pretty good price for a pro player dart. Um, they are cheaper than the other Loxley darts, I believe probably because of the simplicity of the cuts, uh, which mean, it doesn't mean it's going to be a worse quality dart. For me, ring grip to any type of dart, a sort of variation on any type of ring grip is good enough for anyone. Um, as I said, the thicker grooves give you a good amount of grip, uh, and then followed by the thinner grooves. So you do have options there on sort of like where to grip the dart and how much grip you want. Um, I would personally switch to shorter stems because uh, it gives you a really nice sort of like upward angle in the board, um, but not too high, so it blocks things off. And yeah, they're just a really nice uh, quality, simple dart that could be used by anyone. They're not too thick, they're not too thin. Um, and yeah, they just work really, really well. Really nice sort of set of paint, uh, painted rings on them as well. And obviously the flights as well, if you'd like to use them, uh, look pretty cool too. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this review. If you've used the Steve Hine darts, let me know in the comments down below what you think of them. And if you haven't looked at them, be sure to try and check them out on Darts Corner. A180 or Perfect Darts, I believe they're all sold on there. And you can pick them up for just under £40. And yeah guys, that's it for this review. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.